Hey, Moby. Where are you going? Moby? Cool. A rainforest. What is a rainforest? A rainforest is a large, thick forest habitat that gets a ton of rain. Some rainforests can get over 200 inches of rain a year. Rainforests can be in cool areas, but most rainforests are tropical and found in warm, humid places near the equator. The Amazon tropical rainforest is the largest in the world. It spreads through nine countries in South America. Even though rainforests cover just a small part of our planet, over half the world's species of plants and animals live there. Squirrel monkeys are just one species of monkey that live in rainforests. But there are other species too, like capuchin monkeys and howler monkeys. We can divide the rainforest into different sections. What are some layers of the rainforest? The canopy is the roof of the forest, and that's where you find the thick, leafy tops of trees. There's plenty of sunshine and food up here. Most rainforest animals live in the canopy. <laughs> like monkeys? Sloths and birds. The understory is the layer between the canopy and the floor. Less sunshine reaches the understory, so many plants have large leaves to get as much light as they can. Here you can find a lot of insects, snakes, and even jaguars. The forest floor is the bottom of the rainforest. It doesn't get much sunlight, so fewer plants grow here. But you can still find lizards, insects, and fungi. Hmm... How do plants and animals survive in rainforests? Living things have adaptations, or special ways to live in their habitats. Well... Rainforest soil does not have a lot of nutrients, so it can be difficult for plants to grow there. Some plants, like this pitcher plant, use animals for food. Since the forest floor can be pretty dark, some plants have adapted to grow on tall trees so they can get more sunlight. They're nicknamed air plants because they don't need soil to grow. Since the rainforest gets a ton of rain, the leaves of many plants have special tips to help get rid of extra water. Cool! That butterfly has clear wings. That camouflage helps it hide from other animals. But some rainforest animals don't use camouflage at all. The poison dart frog has bright colors, warning predators not to eat it. It's one of the most poisonous animals on the planet. Rainforest animals have different ways to stay safe. The Huatzin is often called the stink bird because it smells really bad. Tons of plants and animals live in the rainforest, and experts think there are millions more that haven't been discovered. How are rainforests changing? Rainforests are often called the lungs of the planet. The plants give off a lot of oxygen into the air and help get rid of carbon dioxide, which is a gas that can cause problems in the environment. Rainforests help manage Earth's fresh water and help control Earth's temperature and weather patterns.
But today, much of the world's rainforests are being cut down for wood or for land to graze animals and plant crops. Many native people depend on the rainforest to live, and they have lost their homes. This forces them to move or change their way of life. Many plants and animals have lost their habitats too, and some have become endangered. When something is endangered, there are only a few of their species left. When something is extinct, it means none of their species are left. Experts think that over 100 species of rainforest plants and animals become extinct every day. Many medicines are made from rainforest plants. As the rainforest gets destroyed, we may lose new ways to fight diseases. Rainforests are really important, and we've got to protect them. Right, Moby? Moby?